Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again with another video. So today is Thursday, October 5th, 2017. As you can see here, I have this i7-8700 Kilo, but I have no main board. So, being that I can't work on a PC right now, um, that's actually going to be my new build that I'm making, I did pick up something new. This is the Retrotech RGB SCART to component transcoder and uh, it's made by a guy named fusion and he is a member of the schmutz forums and i gotta say he's done a spectacular job um it's a little more expensive than some of those clones out there but when you get an image like this that looks pristine i mean the screen has a little bit to do with it too but it looks great um i had my friend here earlier today we tried out super nintendo Get this cord out of the way. And we tried out Super Nintendo and we tried to look to see if there was any sort of delay or anything and uh, there was nothing there. So I'm going to fire up a game while this thing tries to focus. It's not the greatest camera on this phone, but it gets the job done. And hopefully this isn't too loud. But yeah, I've got the way I have it set up is. <coughs> down a little the way I have it set up is I have all my consoles over here and they're going down to a SCART switch and right now the uh, Saturn's being selected then it goes from RGB SCART over to the Retrotech and then I feed component because I have a lot of things here that could component for instance look there's a retro tink for the Raspberry Pi there there's an Xbox down there that's component so um, and then I use a component switcher to go to the TV and look at this image. There's a little bit of overscan on the bottom, but it's a CRT that's going to happen. And the reason why I picked up the Retrotech is because I've sold my OSSC. Um, I am getting another OSSC, the 1.6 version, but it's still not in... Uh, I guess I'm going to be getting it in like near November. But this looks awesome. It looks great. Um, the nice thing about using Component is I believe you could still use light guns with this thing. So... I plan on I'm going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, if you see anyone there, you know, wearing a fedora or something, that's me. And uh, I'll be looking to get some a couple guns for the Saturn, uh, perhaps a gun for the Xbox that had a few gun games. And of course, I'm going like, to try to get two gun cons for the PlayStation. I have a PlayStation back there next to the Saturn. And as you can see, these are all my RGB consoles. Yeah, even the uh, Nintendo 64. I know. But yeah, this this looks awesome, guys. I mean, this there's no delay. Image quality is great. Um, there's not much more I could say about it besides it's worth the extra $20, $30 uh, over those clones. This one cost me $79.99. Um, the guy was out of California. I'm in Oregon. So it, it he shipped it out yesterday and it came today. So it was pretty quick. Um, yeah, definitely a big thumbs up. For those guys that still have the, you know, the 240p CRTs, I mean, this this looks great. Yeah, you could go get the HD Retrovision cables. You you could do that, and, and that'll cost you like 50 bucks and plus 14 dollars for the um, Saturn adapter off the Genesis co cable. And you could go that route. And uh, for those people who don't have SCART or anything starting from scratch, that's a good route to get. Um, at least a good route to go if you can get the cables. I already have the SCART and everything dealing with the OSSC. I had the SCART, the Switch, and all that. So to me, this solution was much more economical. And I already had the stuff there. I just had to set it all up. As you can see, it's you know it's, it's kind of daisy-chained and everything. But it does work, and it looks great. And uh, Super Nintendo, we tried earlier. You know, my buddy tried Mega Man X. He, that's his favorite game of all time. He knows that game. And uh, emulation just, just can't cut it, man. I mean... 
I'm going to try to see what I can do. I'm going to try to overclock that bad boy to 5 gigahertz on one or two cores. And But the bottom line is authentic hardware is going to be tough to beat. Um, and if you got it, you might as well use them. So anyway, guys, that's just another video on the Retro Tech. Uh, we'll put a description and a link to the eBay store. And, you know, this guy, he's on Shmups. He's one of us. So... You know, just putting that out there for him to get a little a little shine and you know, showing him a lot of love because this thing is a great product. I mean, it looks awesome. 